I'm going to take the entire head unit off of the mill so that I can uh, make some modifications to the castings. And to do that, I need to loosen up these three bolts that are down here in the headstock and the center bolt as well. Uh, to do that, I'm going to use a number uh, 17 uh, millimeter wrench and uh, a 19 millimeter wrench and that comes with the uh, with the tool kit that comes with this mill so um, here goes okay those three are loose and I loosen the uh, center bolt which it pivots on after I get this uh, tilted. There's also an allen screw on the side of the casting that you have to um, loosen up in order to get that to turn. Not sure which size that is. Or whether you can reach it with the short end of this allen keys. So. Plan B, let me get my uh, long handled Allen keys. Okay, it looks like it's a three millimeter um, Allen wrench is what you need. I uh, got these at Harbor Freight. They're pretty cheap, um, but they do the job. You may have to rotate the quill handle out of the way just a little bit to get in there and loosen this up. You may want to remove one of these um, handles. To make your life easier. Okay, and I just wanted to rotate the headstock uh, so that it was uh, 90 degrees off and zero zero here. So that I could drop it down onto the uh, the bed of the mill I put a couple of 2 by 4s there to avoid scratching the mill with the metal parts move the table in so that it's underneath make sure everything's out of the way and now I can lower this down There, now that's resting on the 2x4s, I can take the bolts off and then I'll be able to slide the head forward. These bolts are pretty long, so I recommend using a 17mm uh, socket to get uh, the three bolts off. It makes your life a whole lot easier. Each one of these uh, bolts has a lock washer, a regular washer, and a nut. Okay, now I'm using the 19 millimeter wrench to loosen up the center bolt. The center bolt's a little hard to get to around the uh, bolts for the uh, other three, so you might want to remove it first. All depends on you. And this one is actually a bolt and washer that comes out. These others are studs that stay in. Okay, so you then. Begin to pull. This forward. You might 
have to completely take that set screw out. Hope there's not one on the other side. crank it forward. And that's how you get the head off. I'm going to move this over to the side so you can get a better view of the column. And you can see these are the three um, studs that held the head in place. And the set screw went into a slot that is uh, right here on the boss that sticks out here. So that's why it's held in uh, place and hard to get off. There's a hole in the back that these were slipped in through. You can see it right back there. 